What up, peeps? What up? So we're back, and um, what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and check out the Applebee's um, form here, so that we can figure out how we need to enter in the data that we need. So what I do when I'm looking at these elements, I'm like, okay, I need to interact with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and right-click on it, and then in Chrome, I can just inspect the element. And uh, I can see that this input type, it takes in text, it's just a text input box. And the class name is input text. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. And it appears to be the only form on the page. So um, it should be, um, we should be good with, with just searching for that one thing. So uh, it's called uh, input text. So we need to go ahead and then... Um, we're just going to create an element, so I'll just say elem equals browser dot find element by class name, and then we put in the class name, which was input text, and then we're going to say dot clear because right now, if you look, um, there is something there, and then we're going to go ahead and find that joint again after we clear it of any text that may be in there. So now element is going to be um, <clears throat> that text box. I'm going to do a little bit of a sleep pattern here so that we're not requesting data too fast. So I'll sleep for three seconds. And let me see here. And then what we need is a uh, just a simple array. So I'll say my array equals. This is an array, actually. I'm sorry. It's a, more, it's a list in Python is what it's considered. So I'm going to have some zip codes in here: two one seven seven one, um, two two four zero eight, two two five five one. I guess. So those are different um, zip codes around, uh, somewhat local to me. Well, this one's in Maryland. Uh, so now that we have that, we could do a loop over our array. So we're going to say for i in uh, my array. And then once we're in the loop, um, we need to go ahead and figure out. Uh, we need to, um, my bad, we need to send the key. So. What we're going to do is we're going to say ELEM, so we're selecting, this is the box that we have selected, and we're going to say send keys string i, since it's a um, number, we're going to want to send the string because that's really all you can send, and then just say keys.return. So what it's saying is that send keys, meaning the string i, which is the, for each zip code, we're sending it, and um, and really, this whole thing needs to be in a loop for i and uh, my array because we don't we want to um, only do this one time for each. So really, we're going through the um, array here. I keep saying fucking array, but sorry, it's uh, my list. So we'll go through the list one element at a time, and then. Um, we have the input, so we're inputting it, and then we put keys return. And once we do that, let's just go ahead and I'll show you what it does from here. Oh, let's see what's going on. Yeah, we're missing a parenthesis here. My bad. We're actually missing a parenthesis on the end of this. All right, so now that we run this, um, what you're, what you're going to see is you're going to see the browser pull up, and then for each element within uh, the, zip, the array or the list, then it's going to go ahead and input that into the 
in the box and I'll search for all three of those zip codes. Unfortunately, this thing is a bit slow with all the stuff that I have going on. I've said this in other videos. If, uh, if you're just running this from your local computer without doing as, as many things as I'm trying to do on my computer, then it'll run a little bit smoother. Another thing too is um, Selenium WebDriver waits for things to occur before it actually um, inputs data, so it actually has to wait for the entire thing to load um, before it tries to search something. Actually, going to kill this program real quick. One of the things that you want to get in the habit of doing, since for each item, um, let's see here, it's uh, I actually realize that our URL, because what what's going on here is our URL is hitting. We want Applebee's locations, that was the page that I had showed you before, and we were hitting up Applebee's, so it was running into a bit of a problem there. So we need to change this to Applebee's and then forward slash locations. And that should be better. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, damn it. I'm an idiot. I changed the thing because I didn't want to confuse you guys with the array of the list. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Um, but, yeah, we changed it to my list. So I will run this again. I apologize. Actually, let me kill that real quick. All right, let me... So if you look at what's going on here, it's actually the top part. So it's finding the first um, element, which really, it, it's not a big deal because they both return the same data. Um, so I'm not sure, uh, hopefully you guys saw that, but it was putting in these zip codes up here. Um, and so the next thing to do in the next video, we're actually going to extract the data that we need, like the addresses, phone numbers, or whatever for each round that it does and then go ahead and like save those to a text file so that you can see that it's actually working and um, thank you for watching please um, rate positive and uh, subscribe to my channel I appreciate it thank you guys have a good day bye